and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm be going over two things here, actually. I'm going to be giving you guys my lineup update, going over all the new players I got, as well as opening up my free NFL 100 Centennial Fantasy Pack. So, I'm going to be getting one of my free NFL 100 players, as well as going over the lineup update after doing so. So, we made quite a few pickups, as you guys can see by the coin count. We're very, very broke. I have things to sell on the binder, so no worries about that. But, we do have a free pack to open, and I'm super hyped for that, because I've been waiting for this pack for quite a while now. Kind of confused who to pick. Now, the quarterbacks are cool, but they're definitely not an upgrade over Vic or Lamar, considering none of them are fast. We can get a skate artist. Although Peyton Manning with Omaha looks kind of glitchy. But besides the point, I do need to pick this player. I've been a while since sort of six weeks ago. Honestly, time flew. It felt like it was really quick, to be honest, since they first started this in the, like, the first week of November. Time really flew, or like the second week of November, I believe. Time really flew with this NFL 100 stuff. Hopefully, you guys, if you guys don't already know, all you got to do is go over to the solos. Play all of them. When you're done, you will get a free NFL Centennial Fantasy pack. And then I've also made a lot of pickups on the team, so be pretty cool to see all of the above. Now, guys, before we get into the video, remember, it's still like 25 days of Pood Miss. We still have three days left of this this uh, giveaway month. All you gotta do to enter, as per usual, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console. Once you do all those things, you're to win. Good luck. So, we're gonna start off with the pack, and then we're gonna get over to the lineup update once I add the player to the team. But this is gonna be a tough choice, to be quite honest with you guys, because there's a lot of players that I've wanted from this thing, as well as players I want but don't need. So it's going to definitely be tough. So we got a bunch of these little stupid packs here. But I think the, the one we need is right here on the right. But you guys probably can't even see because my face cam's in the way. But this is a pack that's cool. This is one that we're going to have to go through and see what we're going to get here. So let's go open this pack up. I believe you get a choice of every player from the NFL 100 promo. So let's see the first choice right here. Let's see. You're going to start in order. Emmett Smith, Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson. So originally Eric Dickerson was going to be one of my choices. But Bo Jackson just completely murders him in every stat imaginable. And by quite a, quite a few, to be quite honest with you guys. So, the running backs are off the list. Let's go over to the next one. Next, we got the linebackers and the defensive ends right here. I believe these all came out together, right? So, one of my choices is Lawrence Taylor, which I'm still heavily debating. So, he's definitely up there. And then, Reggie White was one of my choices, but now I have Michael Strahan, so he's now off. I do want to compare him to Strahan, though. So he's, okay, so Michael Strahan's actually better, which is surprising. I did want to get Reggie White, so that's cool. I do have a better left end now. Deion Sanders, I already have. So we do not need to worry about him at all. Now let's see. So we're out of the, we're out of the secondaries. We're out of these players here because I do not want any of these players. Let's go. Okay, so we're at the kicker and the free save. So Ronnie Lott's one of my choices also. So far, Lawrence Taylor and Ronnie Lott are probably two of my top choices. Although I do think I might get Sean Taylor at free safety. So I might not actually end up going with Ronnie Lott because I think I'm going to use my 95 power pass on Sean Taylor. Now, Tony Zoss, we have ready. Now, I did want to use it on a lineman, but the issue with linemen is that, like, they're so much cheaper than all the other ones, I feel like it'd just be dumb to use them on that. Now, we're at the wide receivers. We could go Randy Moss, because we do definitely need Randy Moss still. We don't have him anymore because we have to power him down, because NFL 100 was too expensive. Now, we get over to the quarterbacks. We got Montana, Elway, Brady, and Manning. Now, as much as I'd love to get Joe Montana and feel like Madden 13 and stuff, but he's definitely, they just definitely just don't compete with the scrambling ability of some of the other quarterbacks. So, this one's tough. So I can go, my top choice are Randy Moss, Ronnie Lott, and Lawrence Taylor. Now, Lawrence Taylor is definitely a necessity over, where is my, where's my usual Lawrence Taylor? There you go. He's definitely a big upgrade over this Lawrence Taylor. Definitely, I think I'm going to go with Lawrence Taylor. I think this is the top choice I need to be making right now. And then Ronnie Lott's obviously solid, but I think I'm going to go Sean, I think I'm going to go Sean Taylor because if I power up Sean Taylor, I'll get essentially a better free safety using my power pass and then... Of him for a while, as well as if I go Randy Moss, I really don't pass too much, and I already have Hill and Holt. They're really, really solid. Although I would love my Randy Moss back. The issue with getting Randy Moss right now is that I can't put him into a power up. I don't have the coins. I get Randy Moss. I'm going to have to get his uh, NFL his Mutt 10 card, which is way too expensive. So I think that's just a dumb idea for me because I won't be able to really use him the way he's supposed to be used. So. I think the move for me is to go Lawrence Taylor, which I think is who I'm going to end up choosing here. I'm going to put him onto the team. I'm going to go Lawrence Taylor. It seems like the smartest idea for me, especially since I always have him rushing. So Lawrence Taylor is making the squad. I wanted Ronnie Lott. I wanted the other ones, but it just didn't make too much sense to me. Let's go over to the lineup and go do our go over the whole lineup and kind of go over what we're rocking with. We're at the lineup here. I'm not going to do it one by one this time. I'm going to do it one by one, but not through the binder. I'm going to do it with the full lineup. So at quarterback, we got Michael Vick right now. 
Now we got Michael Vick and we got Lamar Jackson, and I could obviously power Vick pretty simply. I have the Michael Vick power up ready, but I need his Mutt 10 card. And again, their Mutt 10 cards are crazy, crazy expensive. So I'm kind of just rocking with his base Vick, but this base Vick is really, really amazing. Now I don't know what my plan is here. I don't know if I'm gonna sell the Vick or I'm gonna keep the Vick. I haven't really decided because I think I might just hold on to Vick for now until Lamar gets his new card and then I'll end up going with Lamar. Because this Vick is really, really good in comparison to Lamar, especially with that throw power. The throw power differential is really, really huge. Now running back, we got Bo Jackson. I haven't really get to play with him much because of the busy Christmas schedule and stuff. So I definitely love Bo Jackson. I definitely want to hold on to him. And I don't think I think that him and Vic are going to be a deadly deal for quite a while. Now receiver, I need to upgrade here. Receiver is a little bit of an issue now because I lost my Randy Moss power pass because I need to take it off and put the uh, the Mutt Tank card on Bo Jackson so I could power him up. But I could end up selling Bo uh, Barry Sanders as my backup because I do I have Barry Sanders as a backup right now. But if I get rid of him, I do lose my shaker. Oh, I already lost my shaker tier three. Someone's not in here. I did lose shaker tier three. It's weird. Who lost it? Okay, so I have to get that fixed, obviously. I'm definitely, that's definitely not okay. I need that shaker back at some point. So we'll work on that. But as far as wide receivers go, Tyreek Hill's great and all, but I need a route running kind of guy, which I have Holt, but Holt can't really catch in traffic too well. I need a guy who's like tall and catching traffic, which is Randy Moss. So I definitely need to get him back up. Now, at the lineman spot, guys, we need some big upgrades at line. Our line was really good. Now it's not. The center's fine. We can stay with the center. But we're going to need... Right tackle's pretty good, too. We're going to need left tackle and left guard. We need, to, we need to upgrade the right guard, left guard, and left tackle. The right the right tackle's pretty fine for now. Lane Johnson's just okay. But I definitely need to pick up some of these NFL 100 linemen at some point because they're going to be huge. And tight end, we're solid. With Gonzalez and Kittle, really get the job done. And Cook is the backup. Heading over to defense. Before we go into the whole lineup, let's go power up our Lawrence Taylor and see what he looks like. He's going to need some training, right? All right, I'm going to have to go pick up training. I'll be right back. All right, so let's upgrade Lawrence Taylor. I just got the training. Hopefully, that's all I needed for him. Now, let's toss in his NFL 100 card and see kind of what abilities he gets. Actually, he didn't have before. 95 overall. Let's see what he's got. So, edge threat. I think he's still... That's probably still the best one. Yeah, pro... Oh, edge threat. What is this? Edge threat. Edge threat elite. So, dominant pass rush moves and quarterback pressure. So, I definitely got to take this off and toss elite on him, which is probably a lot better. Pass rush elite. Okay, so you can get edge start elite. We can get pass rush elite here. Let's see. Oh, so he can't. So, would I rather the quarterback? I think I'd rather pass rush elite. Yeah, I'd probably pass rush elite. Then I'll just keep edge start on him or power specialist on him over here. And then on the first one, what can he get? Can he get anything good here? He can't get reach elite still, so I'll probably end up putting reach elite on him. Or, yeah, I'm probably going to go and reach elite with him or secure tackler. Probably going to go in one of those. And I can get this now on three. So let's toss that on him. Let's re refund this and toss the times three pass rush on him real quick. Oh, I'm out of training. Okay, let's head back over to the team anyways. Defense is definitely looking a lot better now with Lawrence Taylor in there. Prior to it was before. The defense was honestly, well, at one point the defense was the strongest point of my team. But as of late, the defense has really been lacking a little bit. My linebacking court, my, my middle linebackers are fine. My outside linebackers have been a little bit weak. My free safety starts to feel a little bit weak. Even my defensive line was feeling a little bit weak. So I made some upgrades as of late. Now, here are the new upgrades on defense, if you guys are wondering. We did pick up Michael Strahan. Honestly, a really solid card. I did the set. He's looking really, really solid. Super fast, super quick. Can pass rush and block shed i picked up mel blunt too which originally i didn't really care for but i'm i kind of did need a third cornerback and he's solid very very physical very very quick very fast great height good change. he's kind of like richard sherman with more athleticism so he's looking solid so as a whole this was a really really solid set that i did so now we got lawrence taylor mel blunt and michael strand the defense is looking a hell of a lot better all we really got to do now is get all of our cams back on we got to get we got to get our pass rush maxed out and we gotta get a shaker back max out. And then we gotta at some point, and then I'll probably pick up Brian Dawkins. I actually can get rid of Brian Dawkins and go for Sean Taylor. Once we have all those things, I think this team's gonna be looking super nasty. That's all we really got left to do. And Von Miller's gotta go. The way I run my defense, which is really dumb that I've let it go this far, I run my defense where my left side linebacker sits in the zone the whole game, and my right side linebacker rushes. So it's very dumb of me that I've had Von Miller in his zone all year. I definitely need a new outside linebacker. But I have not found myself that outside linebacker with good zone, with good height, with good speed that can do everything with a little bit of block shit. I haven't found that one yet. Vander Esch was sort of there, but he's too bad. And then Bobby Bell kind of too. But I'll probably just wait at this point. I definitely need that upgrade. And now all these cards start to catch up to Pat Tillman. So I hope Pat Tillman gets an upgrade soon so he can still be overpowered. His cards are definitely starting to catch up. And obviously overall wise, they already caught up. He still he doesn't really feel as OP as he used to feel, but they're still pretty, pretty great. And then as far as special teams go, I got Justin Tucker, kicker, and Trey Way, a punter. 
that's pretty much it. Tyreek Hill still returns me a return man. But I definitely got to get some more coins and make some changes. And guys, this is about it for the video. All you guys got to know from this point on is that Madden's been great, guys. It's been fun. It's been really fun. And as far as the team building goes, I'm going to need some coins. So I'm going to have to play some weekend league, get the coin stack back up, and go sell some things in my binder. And guys, if you want to enter the giveaway, the 25 days of poop which is still going on for three more days, all you got to do is enter, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console, and the secret world. Once you do all the things you enter to win, good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. Expect the 1030 content today with the Legends and yesterday's NFL 100 Legends. Make sure to go check that video out if you haven't. And I will be announcing yesterday's winner on that video, so make sure you pop out to that video. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.